but this is my dream. This is dream for my kids. It's moving, I gotta tell you. Rather than us fight it all out, we decided to work together. <laughs> Which is a rarity. Tell me a little bit about you guys. What motivates you guys to want to start your own business? I'm engaged uh, to a... <laughs> Is I'm engaged to a... I'm engaged and my fiance lives in Japan and she can't come out here unless I make this happen. I could have just continued my job as a consultant making fine money but this is my dream. Why can't she come here unless this works? Yeah, why? Because I want this to be stable and... You can't afford her to come here. That's why I'm here today. It could wait, but... It's like, do I have to choose between my company and my dreams and my fiance? She's sitting there waiting. It's been two years since I proposed to her. At that time, I was working in consulting and her parents approved and now they don't approve. They think I'm crazy. I think you ought to sit tonight and write her parents a thank you note. And you ought to start like this. Thank you for the insults, for not thinking I'm worthy enough for your daughter. Watch me now and watch what I do. There's no better motivation in the world than somebody who insults you. Those parents are guaranteeing your success. My dad invented this when I was in high school. And then as he was getting his first prototypes, our mom was diagnosed with breast cancer. And he put everything on hold to be by her side. On August 22nd, 2012, God called my mom home. And my dad just showed us what strength was in every moment that he continued to show up. In December, um, at that time, he was diagnosed with cancer, which is a 9-11 related cancer from being a fireman there. He was on hospice in the beginning of the year, and he just passed away three months ago. <laughs> so sorry. Thank you. Thank you. you obviously, you have a, a million reasons to be proud. Thank you. And your father will live on forever through each of you and this product. Rather than us fight it all out, we decided to work together. Wow. And so all five sharks are going to come <laughs> together. Oh Which is a rarity. Now, yeah. we're sharks, so we're going to negotiate some. So it pretty well we never happens. So <laughs> we're, we're going to offer you a deal. OK. $100,000 for 20%. And each one of us is going to contribute $20,000 and our expertise so that we can help you. Mm -hmm. And so any profits that we earn from our 20%, we're going to contribute to whatever charity your dad supported for firemen that have been sick from 9-11. Oh, my gosh. Man, we are so that's that's our offer. What do you think? Yeah. 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 I told my parents I wanted to come to America. And they said, OK, let's do this together. They cashed out their retirement fund. They borrowed money from their family and friends to send me to school here on a one-way ticket and school fees and living expenses for one semester. But they gave everything they could to me. So like that is how much faith they have in me. Um, nine months after coming to America, I was diagnosed with toxic shock syndrome. I was given a 50% chance of surviving, but my parents couldn't come because they didn't have an American visa. But I, I survived, and that was a, a gift. It gave me a new perspective in life, and it made me ask myself, what am I going to do with my one wild and precious life? So I went to grad school. I, I got a six-figure job, and I gave back. I sent money home, and I, when I have enough savings, I asked myself, I want to do something courageous. I have to take a chance. So I had this idea, and I need to choose creativity over certainty. And that drives and motivates me every single day. My mom brought me and my sister here. None of us knew English. From where? From Ukraine. And she taught me that America is where dreams come true. It's a dream big. It's a road, very long road to come to this country. No family, no friends, no speak English. I'm so proud about my kids, proud about Alina. I, I, it's his dream come true. You know, my, I come from a communist country. You understand. I understand, you know, my dad was the youngest of 15. He got thrown in jail 22 times. And the last time he got thrown in jail, they said, if you come back, 
you will never come back. Oh my God. And so we cross the border, we come here, and we have nothing. Like oh. we have nothing, but my dad was happy. He would rather have nothing but an opportunity. Yes. Obviously, I think it's one of the greatest yes, countries in the page. world.